Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now, last year, Emma Twyford became the first British woman to climb 9A, and filmmaker David Petz, who we've worked with a lot in the past, made a movie of the whole process, including the final send. Now, this is being released this Friday on the BMC Facebook page, and I thought it'd be a perfect time to release the interview I did with both of them at the Kendall Mountain Film Festival. Hi, I'm Emma Twyford, and we're at Kendall Mountain Film Festival. We've just been showing uh, The Big Bang, and it just won the Best Climbing Film Award. And this is Dave, the filmmaker. <laughs> it feels so long ago that I was first walking across Lower Pentrum. It wasn't really about the grade of 9A on the Big Bang. It was about going down and having a play and having fun. Where does the drive come from for these kind of things? You learn to love the climb you're trying and you just become totally absorbed by it. This route had become such a big part of me and it was like an old friend and I just couldn't walk away from the route now. So I chose the Big Bang because it's close to home for me. It wasn't necessarily the most amenable of projects because it has, it's tidal, it has really fickle conditions. Um, but at the same time, I also fell in love with the route and the moves. And I was trying to climb my first 9A. And for me, it was kind of a process. I knew it hadn't been climbed very many times. And for me, that was the big, the biggest draw almost, rather than being the first British woman to climb 9A, was that I was trying something that was at my limit. And also just not being sure because it had shut down so many good climbers over the years, whether it was going to be possible. It feels so long ago that I was first walking across Lower Pentrum. It wasn't really about the grade of 9A on Big Bang. It was about going down and having a play and having fun, and I was just curious about the route. The route starts off very easy. It's about 6C up to the first couple of bolts. And then for me, it got hard very quickly because the moves are so big, and I was having to do a lot of sequences that I know a lot of taller people don't have to do. My beta for the route was very similar to my friend James McAfee because we're not too dissimilar in height and it probably breaks out down at about 8a plus through the roof to start with uh, it's about v7 or v8 boulder problem so it gets quite powerful and bouldery quite quickly uh, to one very bad rest where you're on your arms with bad feet and it's the only rest you have then until the top then up to where the change of angle is at the end it's maybe about 8b plus 8c and you have to arrive there not pumped. <laughs> uh, so you have to arrive there pretty fresh because you then have a V9 boulder crux. And if you, you can't basically slap your way up this route. There's no out of control on it because the holds are so bad that you can't just throw for a hold and hope. Everything has to be really in control and really fine tuned and really static. <laughs> um, so that was hard to arrive there and have that control some of the time because you get, you get excited and you fall off through silly mistakes. And then probably to the top, it's about like 7B after the crux. Um, you're on really gnarly razor crimp little holds and hoping you just don't fall off at that point. How hard is 9A? I mean, that's a big question. 9A is like cutting edge, really. Pretty much as hard as it gets in the UK. You can fight it out and battle it. You just can't pull your way through it. You've got to technically climb through the thing. So me and Emma started making this film in 2017. So it's been a two and a half year project, which has been my longest project to date. But definitely the most fun, I think. We had a lot of fun, haven't we, you and me? I basically, I locked myself away in all of October, started cutting from all the old material, made what I thought was a good film. It was around, the first cut was around 48 minutes, then it went down to 38 minutes. And I was like, oh, I'm quite settled with this. So I sent off some cuts, I sent a cut to Emma, and I got some feedback, and I was like, oh yeah, we really love it, we really love it. And then I made the mistake of <laughs> sending it to the people who I show an office space with in London. And they watched it and went, yeah, yeah, I'm sure this is, uh, a good climbing film, but it's not a film. And at the moment I was like, oh no. But 
those guys were absolute legends because they sat me down like, this is how you're going to craft a story. This is what we can do. This is how we can da 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 da. And we plotted out and made this crazy schedule of being like, okay, this is how we can get it. And I phoned him. I was like, where, where are you? She's like, oh, I'm just sitting in Croy, all in Croy. And I was like, I need you to come up to the studio so we can refilm your interview. She's like, why? I'm like, just trust me. But by that point, I kind of knew how to direct and get the concise answers that I needed to then carry the story forward. And from that, I then had the craziest day, I think, ever in my filming life and left. I finished interviewing Emma at 11 o'clock in London, drove home, got home by half 12, went to bed at 1, woke up at 4.30 the next day, drove all the way to the Lake District to interview her dad. And then from there, I drove to Kendall to interview Neil Gresham. And then from Kendall, I drove to Sheffield to interview Steve McClure and then Jerry Moffat and then drove back to West London to film the route setting section <laughs> at Harrow and got there about 3 in the morning. A project is, is a route, I would say, that you want to do that's too hard for you. It's maybe that 9A and you've climbed 8C+, plus, but you really want to do 9A and that's your project, that's your goal. Um, it becomes all-encompassing, it, it, it's your jail cell. I mean, you're not going nowhere until you do that route. Nothing else matters in your life. Okay. Emma you know, initially was just working out where the holds were, how to do the moves on this route, and then each time she goes back, her body's more adapted to it, she can do more moves before she then falls off, and then more moves until eventually she's nearly doing the route in one push, but she's still falling off in one place, usually right at the top on this very hard move, and then eventually she'll climb from the ground all the way to the top and complete the route, and that's when she's essentially done her project. But how long this takes is, well, it's how long's a piece of string. As a filmmaker, you always have this idea of what you want an athlete to be, but necessarily that's not what you want them to be as a person, and that's where you'll short-live your stories. If you're too busy trying to mould them into something they're not, you'll lose what they actually are. And I feel that with all the, the climbers that I've worked with over the years, is that I've never encouraged them to be something that they're not. And especially, what well, I like to think with you, you might say different things, I don't know. But I always just want them to be themselves and breathe. And I think that's why I just select people that I really like, like being around. And they become eventually more friends rather than, I don't know, like colleagues is a really weird word, but I think that's the dynamic I always want to go with is that, you know, there's a level of trust that I'm, tr I'm trying to do my best to tell their story and they're doing their best to be honest with me with their story. So there's a whole trust thing that goes on and that's a bit more than just expectations, I think. Yeah, Emma's closing in. Today feels really mint conditions for LPT. You know, everything's dry. You're blown away with the year she's had. She's had one of the best trad seasons had by a British climber, basically. <laughs> and then doing like mind control and this as well. And just been working loads as well. You know, like trying this, hammering to London to route set, going over, doing big issue. I'm actually tired thinking about it. really digging deep on the route. I could see the chains. I could feel it just, just there, just a whisker away. And I wanted it so much. I think for me, uh, obviously I had to enjoy the moment of climbing 9A. I, ha I had all these big goals in the last couple of years and I achieved them all, which is quite a weird feeling. <laughs> um, it never normally happens like that. And I mean, I climbed a couple of V8s last year and a couple of V9s, and then I did a big Dolomites project this year. I climbed an 8C and a 9A this year, so I mean, it's two absolutely stellar years. I, can't, I couldn't have asked for more. It's really easy to, once you've done something so big, to feel a little bit lost. Um, and I have felt that perhaps for the last month is like where do, where do I go now and um, what projects do I have and how can I possibly be what I've just done. <laughs> you have to take the time just to settle down 
uh, and then pick the right projects again for, for the right reasons. And right now I've got some ideas. I did go to Oliana and I tried another project. So there is a seed there of potentially a harder project than what I've just done. <laughs> and I think the thing is I try to pick, pick projects where they motivate me, the line gets me psyched. Um, sometimes you'll find that you try something and you walk away from it straight away because it's just not the right line. Uh, and I think each time I pick something, it's because if I'm going to throw myself in there, it's got to be something that keeps me going like Big Bang, um, where that motivation comes throughout, uh, throughout two years. Um, and I think I like to keep it varied. This is why I do the triad, this is why I do the sport, and it's why I, I've kind of started to get into the more alpine multi-pitch climbing. Such a cool film and awesome to hear both of them talking about it. Now, as I said at the beginning of the show, that movie is being released on the BMC Facebook page this Friday, the 17th of April at 8 p.m. UK time. And there's a link in the description below so you can check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.